way today. I'd like to go against you and see what you are made of. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me on today's edition of Glenn's Retro Show. Today's a very exciting episode for me personally. I worked on a project that I've wanted to have for, for, for ages, since I was a little kid. And uh, there are some things I just can't do well myself. I could probably do them, but there are definitely people who could do a much better job than me. Two people who helped me on this particular project is Arcade Graphics and Do It Yourself Retro Arcade. And as you know, I have my Glenn's Retro Show spinner, and I'm coming out with a Tron joystick, trackball, and even a Star Wars yoke, just to name some of the few products that are coming down the pipeline. So once we got that Tron joystick ready, and I got my prototype, I had to build my own Tron arcade machine. So with the help of Arcade Graphics, getting me some beautiful artwork, which we'll go over in a little bit, and do-it-yourself retro arcade for creating a control panel for me, I was able to make this machine a reality for myself and something you guys could build as well. Okay, one of the things you're going to need when building your own specific type of arcade machine or just one you wanted to make your own controls for, you're going to need to usually either make your own control panel or modify the one that came with Arcade 1UP. Now my friend Bruce Yeager created this for me and I was going to try and make the holes myself and put the artwork on. And again, I'm still going to try and attempt something with this. But for this particular build, I didn't want to take a chance of messing this up. This is the only one of these I have. I'm not great with, with woodworking. I can make holes, but to make this kind of fine work is just kind of beyond my capabilities, at least for right now. I don't have a lot of practice with that. Give me a soldering iron and metal any day. So, one of my uh, friends over at Do It Yourself Retro Arcade uh, created something for me instead. So. This is what he was able to make for me, and he did a fantastic job. There is no way in the world I would have come close to building something like this, as well as the quality of the work he did. So this is my control panel that Do It Yourself Retro Arcade created for me. Now, first of all, the cuts on this thing are perfect. This sits perfectly in the Arcade one machine. And as you can see, he custom designed artwork for me. I'm trying to get not so much that light on there. There we go. He custom designed this artwork and the laminate that is used feels great. It feels actually like what you would get on the arcade machines. It's not, I don't want to say sandy, but it's not smooth. It's just got a texture on it, which is something you would have had on those machines. And uh, he and his, uh, his wife worked on this over at his company. And I think he did a really nice job with the artwork, cut all the holes. Now we'll get into more of what's going to be in this control panel in a little bit, but just the Look at this, the, the T-molding on here is even really, really nice. I mean, it's a different color T-molding. I wanted the blue on there. Uh, 
the laminate on top is perfect. There's no bubbles. It's just, I'm sorry about the lighting on, in this room, the studio, but um, even on the back, you can see he's got it routed out for, I got my joystick already in here already, but uh, for the trackball and other things I'll be putting in here, the, the quality of the work, the time of his work, how he ships it out, it was very well protected. I can't recommend more do it yourself retro arcade. And he does more than this. He actually sells components like 16 one boards, joysticks, other items. But for making these control panels, custom control panels, he works with you. He verifies everything is good, creates it, and gets it out to you at a reasonable cost. So big shout out to do it yourself retro arcade for this phenomenal control panel. And I'll definitely be doing more work with him in the future. And I would definitely check out his uh, website. The link will be down below. But I can't wait to get this thing installed because it, this is just, it's a work of art. So let's go take a look at now the artwork I got from uh, Arcade Graphics. Okay, so we won't have a super steady cam here, but this was originally a 12-in-1 Arcade 1-Up, which I have converted over to the uh, Arcade Graphics artwork. And it's surprisingly easy to uh, put this stuff on. Uh, normally, I just done like the lower artwork here for my other machines, but uh, and you can see my uh, my coin door as well uh, has been put into this unit, which will be available soon. And the coin door will include the wood. It'll be just basically slide the panel into place. But the artwork is very easy to put on, and even if you make a small mistake, it is very easy to pull the uh, vinyl off and sit it back on. So don't be scared doing this type of work because the vinyl. That really really high quality okay here's a shot of the side artwork which is you now the biggest piece of vinyl I ever put on this was the first time I even attempted it and it actually turned out very well again the vinyl he's using is not some cheap flimsy like decal it's it's true vinyl the adhesive is very very good and if you lay it down and you make a mistake it's not sitting right or there's a big air bubble you can actually pull it back off fix it and put it back down it doesn't stretch the vinyl and you know, I had one spot where it wasn't laying down exactly how I liked it, and I just gave it a jerk, pulled it up, and laid it back down. It went down perfectly fine. There is trimming you need to do, so basically just uh, center it on the wood, and uh, you put it all on, and then you just trim it with an X-Acto knife. But as you can see, it, I've never done this before. I've done small stickers and, you know, the front panel on my, like my Pac-Man machine here. But the vinyl side, this is the biggest I've ever done. And it turned out well. It took a little time. It probably took me maybe half hour per side uh, to put on. But you can see here that the artwork is on really, really nice. And RK Graphics uses high quality uh, vinyl. And he ships it out to you pretty quickly. And I can't be happy with how this thing turned out. Now here's uh, the picture of the control panel overlay that RK Graphics supplies. This is normally what you would use, but I wanted my control panel to be a little more custom. So I actually use the, uh, the Do It Yourself Retro Arcade uh, overlay. But also he used very similar, uh, if not the same type of uh, vinyl here. It's got a texture to it, which, you know, your finger can go on, it won't rub off. So Arcade Graphics and Do It Yourself Retro Arcade's uh, control panel overlays are more than vinyl. I don't know what that stuff is. It's got a nice texture to it, just like you would have in an arcade machine. But I think you'd be very happy with the quality of work that both of them do. So looking inside the Tron unit, this is my uh, my coin door in here. Now it is a fully functionally uh, coin door. There are two wires which would tap into your play one button. So when you put a coin in, it'll register in your either your arcade one up where you can set up your main to uh, take that selection as well. There is a bulb that will light up the 25 cent coin. And uh, the coins will go into a bucket uh, inside your machine. Now there is no uh, on this particular one, there is no way to access the coins from the front, so you would have to access it from the back. My plan is, on the back of the unit, to use magnets to hold on my, my rear door, so I don't have to screw it in. I can just pop it off and pull the coins out. But uh, this is will be a very inexpensive coin door, again, including the wood panel. So it's just basically you're going to slide it in and connect it. Totally plug and play.
my version of Tron using an arcade one up 12 in one that I wasn't using anymore. All the graphic art you see here on the machine aside from the control panel is from arcade graphics and they do a wonderful job. I mean I've put these decals on before you know in these areas here. Uh, the first time I did the bezel around the screen. Uh, is it super easy? No, but if you take your time, I mean it took me the whole thing probably took me in two hours to do. As long as you take your time you will get this results. I mean, it goes on really easy. The uh, vinyl uses is really tough. So if you make a mistake and you put it down wrong, you can actually pull it back up and put it down again. It, it really is good quality stuff for using on here. Now we come down here to the control panel. This control panel was actually manufactured by Do It Yourself Retro Arcade. And I can't tell you what a wonderful job uh, he did with this here. Um, he, I basically gave him the layout of how I wanted these controls. And he did it up. He made the, the artwork on here. He asked me a couple times if I liked it. And it came out really, really good. Um, as you can see, the buttons here are the buttons I'll be offering. These are my buttons. They are a spring-loaded, quiet button. Very responsive. Uh, obviously, we have the Tron joystick. Now, this is the, still the prototype joystick. Uh, the blue LED will go up a little bit better on the entire joystick. Right now, it's mostly down at the bottom. We do have a trigger and eight-way joystick on it. I don't have a decal on it yet. I gotta make a nice little Tron decal back here. And these can be modded. You can cut a hole in here and put another button on there for like this of Tron if you wanna, you know, press that button over there or make a Jet Fighter game. You can put some buttons up here. There's room for it up here. And we have my uh, first uh, official uh, production version of the trackball. I have it set right now to blue. Uh, I do like the blue. I may actually change the uh, work here to the red. Um, I'm not quite sure. I, I definitely like the blue, but it might go better with the actually rest of the artwork doing a, a, a red. Um, and then of course I have my spinner, the Glenn's Retro Show spinner right here, where uh, when you get this artwork from Tyler, you get a horizontal and a vertical uh, overlay to go over your monitor. And since I'm using the horizontal, not the, uh, the actually I'm using the, the vertical, sorry, the horizontal, not the vertical, I was able to cut out one of the uh, icons on here to put on my spinner and um, it looks really nice on there. So this is how Tron's meant to be played. We have our joystick here, we have our trigger button and then we have our our spinner here to rotate the arms or the turret on the tank. So a little further on down here we have uh, my coin door right here. Drop a coin in, it will register a, uh, a coin and uh, start the game. Or you can just put a coin in up here so you can do either one. Uh, on here. So let's see a little gameplay of uh, Tron now that we have this thing all put together. Okay, so once again we have our joystick here. This is again the prototype. This one is 3D printed. It's not the production version, but it still functions the same. Uh, we'll have a blue LED coming up on the, the unit a little bit more, but uh, let's put a coin in. And try a little Tron out. You can see the spinner works. Oh! When you try and get every one, sometimes you don't make it. Let's try that again. This time more serious.
Ah, the tank level. Where are you going, you chicken? <laughs> Man, I am. I love these games. I'm just not good at any of them. Which is not so good for me, is it? That's better. Good thing I did a better job on the grid. Favorite part. Whee! Ah! Oh boy, I'm in trouble here, huh? I'll go on this side. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. I almost crashed myself. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm not gonna make it! So not too shabby. You get to put your name in and uh... It was weird that it only lets you put in two initials, not three. But uh, the controller works very well. The trigger works excellent. Obviously my spinner, I'm pretty proud of that as it is already. Uh, we'll show you a little bit more of some other things. Now you can actually use you know, the trackball during the gameplay if you really wanted to. So let's put a coin in here. I'm gonna start this up again. And let's see if we get something here. We use a tank, see if we can use the trackball here with the tank. You can see, you can. Got him, got me. Let's see what else we could try here.
Oh, just a tiny touch is all it takes. Power that tank level one more time. Man. So we'll try a different game. So if we're done, we can escape out, pick a different game. Okay, so let's try another one of my favorite games, Star Trek by Sega. So we'll put a coin in. It's always a fun part when you have multiple games on these things. That's it, but a great game. Let's try something else. Of course, we have to try Tempest with my spinner on here. So I set this up now is I have my spinner here and I have my regular pistol and my super zapper set up on the side. So I have these for like missile command, extra buttons, coin start, escape and so forth. But my, my Tempest buttons will be over here. So let's put a coin in. Start her up. Of course, I'm hoping I'm not blocking the view too, too much. Now, people want to see how long these spinners spin for, so let's start this one going right now. Now, in the arcade, the spinner never went on forever, but I think this is a pretty good representation of the arcade Tempest Spinner.
Okay, let's take a look at one more game, Missile Command, so we can take a look at the trackball. Okay, let's load up Missile Command. And we'll be using the trackball for this one. And I set it up, the trackball and my three bases, or actually, I'm sorry, these should be, should be my three bases right here. So let's put a coin in. And we'll start it up. So the buttons themselves here, there's no clicking on the buttons, but they're very responsive. The key is to not get old, so you don't lose your reflexes. But unfortunately, right now, we still age. And of course, the trackball can be set to a number of different colors, or no color at all, just LED off. And the ball that comes with it is a like a smoked, uh, clear type of ball. So when the color is on, you'll see it nicely. Uh oh, got away! Uh oh. So the trackball itself again is using good arcade quality bearings. It'll work in the arcade one up, or as you can see right here in a regular PC. Alright, not getting these guys. Sorry, sorry, Jack. base so it works very very well so the whole system here uh, I think you guys will be pretty happy with, with how the Tron joystick will be coming out and the trackball as well uh, next thing we'll show is just a coin door put a coin in just to show that we get a credit okay so as I mentioned before you can put credits in by just press this button here but if you get the coin door you obviously want to use that so I have a couple of quarters right here so you can see I'll take a quarter push it in the slot we get a credit. And of course, if a coin gets stuck, it's like a real machine. You could press the button in and the coin would drop out. Let's see if that'll work right now. I'm not sure if it will. And it did. So I'll return the coin down here that got stuck. But of course, it shouldn't get stuck. And it goes in. And then you can play your game. Thanks everyone for watching this episode of Glenn's Retro Show. This machine, I'm just in love with. I've wanted to build this for the longest time. A really big shout out to Arcade Graphics for the beautiful vinyl artwork on here. And a super big shout out to Do Itself Retro Arcade for building this control panel. Uh, it's fantastic, I absolutely love it. Um, again, the Tron joystick, this is a prototype. We should have it available, maybe I'm hoping the next 30 to 45 days, have this one ready. The uh, production version of the trackball here should be available hopefully in the next four to six weeks. And of course, the Glenn's Retro Show Spin our nose out of stock at the moment right now at Amazon, but we have about 2,000 more coming in. So that should be available. And the coin door is also should be available shortly. Now again, that's gonna be a complete solution. The coin door and the wood panel already there, just connected to your uh, player one button, and uh, that's it. You'll be able to start using that and, and putting in some quarters. So again, uh, this is a pretty nice machine. I, I, I'm going to be playing it some more. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to start playing this some more. But um, thanks for watching. Remember, everyone, game on. I want to win the games. Oh. We have transport.